As it happened, the cult of Lachan were too late to capture their precious bottle at the wreck and turned elsewhere in their quest. Meanwhile, it grew clear that Cowran resistance against the forces of Creon would collapse without massive support. Karenna sent an urgent entreaty to Elson. Elson, my brother, perhaps we have shown less honor to Aramon's claims to Kaura than was warranted. I propose that by joint decree it be made a free port, and both our lands shall prosper from the trade benefits thus derived. But first, as in the great war just passed, we must close ranks again. We must wage a true war against these scheming invaders from Creon. We must unite against them as we did against Lochan, and with the same resolve, achieve like result. Karenna, Mage Queen of Varuna. So be it, sister. Let expediency overcome discord. We are once again united in battle. Elson, Mage King of Aramon. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Let's Play The Iron Plague. I'm your host, Nerus, and this is Chapter 7, Close Ranks. Now, unlike the previous seven, uh, six chapters, this one's completely blind, and to explain my uh, what that means, normally when I'm doing Iron Plague missions, I play the mission for five, ten minutes or so, build a bunch of scouts, and just have a look around and see what the hell I'm dealing with. I haven't done that here, and I don't remember this mission at all, so I have no clue what's about to happen. Based on what we're starting with, I think it should be relatively safe to just sail right over, well, not here, but here, because there's a, yeah, here-ish. We're going to want to land here, I think. Now, again, based on what I have seen and what we've seen in the campaign so far, I expect there's going to be not a whole lot of starting Creon units, but there's going to be a ton of Creon mechanics and chief engineers up on this raised area up here, just waiting for a chance to kill us all. And they will be furiously building Creon things to kill us all. Now, I'm not... This part worries me. Creon has become heavily entrenched. That's very worrying because heavily entrenched Creon is a nightmare. But we shall see. Now, what we have here are, at first, some Varunan ships, which you should be familiar with. Three men's of war. And four transports, which are carrying six and units each, really? That seems... Yeah, that's what we'll... Anyway, down here we have some Aramon ships. Now, this guy we should be familiar with, the War Galley. It's basically a Man of War light. It has less firepower and health than a Man of War, I think, but it can carry more mans. But down here we have a new Aramon unit, who is apparently very happy. And this is the Ark. And basically people complained that Aramon didn't have a proper transport ship. They, like, they had the war galley, but war galleys are really not transport ships. They can transport units, but they're not great at it. So, Cave Dog gave Aramon the Ark. And as you can see, Arcs can carry a lot of guys. This guy's carrying 51 guys, and this one's carrying 48. Arcs are, I think they are actually the, like, most that the greatest transport capacity of any unit in the game. I do not, as far as I'm aware, no unit can carry more things than an arc. They're expensive, but they can carry a lot of dudes. So we're just gonna sail right the hell over here and start unloading. And we have a sandcastle. We have another sandcastle. I'm hoping that there aren't too many Creon units on the beach and that we'll be able to basically fort up around this sandcastle up here and be okay. But only time will tell. Aye. 
Alright, well we definitely got some Creon units down here. I have no idea what's in these transports, so let's find out. Priestess, not what I wanted to open my invasion with. And, oh, gold guys. Well, that Priestess is dead, but that's okay. We'll deal with that. Alright, so it's just some towers. Our berserkers, our gold berserkers, should be able to deal with that just fine as long as they don't kill themselves in the process. Which they may well do. How is that Gatling crossbow firing over the sandcastle? That's not supposed to be a thing they can do. Huh. Good, that berserk is too close to get shot. Well, that actually worked out better than I expected, considering the uh, claims that Creon was entrenched. Clearly, Cave Dog and I have very different ideas as to what entrenched means. But we're going to want a lighthouse here so we can see what the hell's going on. The Arcs will presumably carry the majority of our useful guys. All these gold-ranked mans would be a lot better if they weren't Berserkers, because as we've just seen, Berserkers have an annoying habit of getting themselves killed. That said, the... is that a gold? No, only the Berserkers... why are only the Berserkers gold? That... that's terrible. It's just terrible. Unfortunately, there are no lodestones down here, so we're just going to have to deal with that, which is a pity. And let's see what Aramon units we've got. Why are the builders right set to come out first? They should be last. Ooh, Grenadiers. I believe we have actually seen, briefly, Grenadiers before, but they're pretty neat. I mean, it should be pretty obvious what they do, but they throw grenades. They're basically mini artillery units. And as you can see, they have explosive, incendiary, and stun grenades. And they have a reasonable range. There's an explosive grenade. There's the incendiary grenade. And the stun grenade. In general, the explosive grenades are the ones you want. Incendiary grenades are okay, but not great. And here we get to see the truly ludicrous number of units an arc can carry. What the crap. I'm going. That's ridiculous. And they're still going. They are still going. Switch the mage arches to seeking arrows because those are more useful. And let's go kill these Gatling crossbows. Presumably, there's another bomb sprinkler inside there. I'm gonna deal with that once I deal with these Gatling crossbows probably actually a bad idea because bomb sprinklers are fucking terrifying once they get going. The sheer amount of damage they can put out per second is just frightening. But it looks like we're good now. Which is a relief. The arcs are empty. They can go chill out next to the transport ships. I don't expect to need them, like, at all. Thanks to TAK's teleportation transport, I could actually, like, sail some transport ships up around here and unload some guys off here, but... I expect that that would probably just get them very, very killed. So I'm not going to do that. Automatons. And 
some assassins, which is not actually very useful, but sure. Oh god, we are getting bomb sprinklered. Pull back. Pull back. You do not want to get bomb sprinklered. Not that one. Enclave. And we... No, we won't put up a barracks quite away. Because... We do not have the mana. But we will put up some more lodestones, because we need mana. Now the fact that we've been given this many dudes to start with is a little worrying, because that suggests that we are dealing with stupid, ridiculously deep layers of Creon defense. And as we have seen before, stupid, ridiculously deep layers of Creon defense are pretty much the kings of the battlefield. Indeed, TAK in general has a very, uh, antique, I guess would be the best way of putting it, approach to warfare. Artillery are the kings of battle. Infantry are the queens. And as the saying goes, we all know what the king does to the queen. And that is very, very true in TAK. Now, that should qualify as raised ground, which I think will mean we will get the like super extra lighthouse side range that we've seen before. Oh, we got more warriors. It would be useful if we needed to do any amphibious assaults. But we don't, so it's not. We do have uh, trebuchets as well, which may actually be useful. Depending on how horrific the Creon defenses our parrot scout out are, I'm expecting them to be pretty horrific. If you're wondering why I don't build any Aramon uh, lodestones, it's because... Eh, lodestones are all the same. Actually, is that true? 304... 280, well... There you go. I've learned something. Aramon lodestones are cheaper than Varunal lodestones. I don't know if that actually matters, really, but it's an interesting piece of information nonetheless. Let's go take a look at what we are dealing with, and I'm already worried. Okay. Bomb sprinklers. And Gatling crossbows. That is not as bad as it could be. What is that bomb sprinkler even attacking? Huh. I'm not sh Is I don't think that lighthouse is actually working because I think the walls of the sandcastle are ruining its line of sight. Which is a pity. But it should be able to shoot over the walls at least, so there's that. And let's get some keeps up. We need to find lodestones, and we need them now. A that's a prismatic mirror. That's what I was worried about. Fucking prismatic mirrors. The terrors of total annihilation kingdoms. That little like, yellow lightning bolt, and I'll admit the original TA Iron Plague like bolt of light looked a lot better than that ridiculous yellow lightning bolt. I have no idea why they changed it. But that yellow lightning bolt is pretty much the worst thing you can ever see, really. You don't want to see that lightning bolt. That lightning bolt means someone's about to die real hard. I'm kind of annoyed there's no lodestone down here. There really should be. Right away! Oh well. Alright. Creon have pretty solid sight. 
in the thread it was mentioned whether Creon uh, cheat with their site, or well, rather specifically whether the AI cheats with its site. The answer is I don't know. I don't actually have any idea. Sometimes the AI seems to abide by the rules when it comes to sight, and sometimes it just seems to be able to see everything. It's possible, I guess, that it's actually dependent from map to map. Some maps the AI gets to see everything, and some maps it doesn't. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to build arcs, but I think it is probably worth pointing out that arcs are built by acolytes of Anu. As they are... I guess that makes them tier 3? I don't know. Kingdom's tiers get a bit weird, especially once Iron Plague rocks along. If you thought things were complicated with Zon and their, like, 4 tiers, you ain't seen nothing yet. Oh god, ironclad. Jesus, that ironclad nearly took out two ships. Yeah, ironclads are fucking scary. Ooh, rolling towers. Rolling towers are another new uh, DLC unit. And they're pretty interesting. I forget what they're armed with exactly, but from memory they have a ballista and a bunch of archers. They're relatively slow, but at the same time, relatively tough. And all said, they're pretty good at sieging shit. And just generally being huge pains in the ass. The sandcastle is not a very useful terrain. I believe the technical term is doodad, but uh, I'm not sure what if there's any better way, but it's not a very useful terrain, doodad. The crab rocks are far superior, as far as I'm concerned. Actually, maybe if there's an underwater crab rock around here somewhere. No, just ammo ammonite rocks. Ammonite rocks are alright, I guess, but, you know, they're kind of everywhere. The uh, universe of kingdoms appears to have had a number of extremely large and impressive ammonites in the past that have left some rather significant fossils. I mean, good god, look at that. I just realized that building that mortar was a terrible idea, but I'm going to go ahead with it anyway. I wonder if we get Pegasi. I guess it's time to find out. Oh. Something's hitting us. What's it? Oh, it's a prismatic mirror. Of course it is. I guess I could try and assault. Aye. Uh, I'll have the grenadiers stay back, but everything else can come along. I'm going. And this time we're going to target the bomb sprinklers first. Really, Berserker? You can't see literally, like, a foot in front of you? Hello, Creon Boat. Meet Cadans. I know you're familiar with them, but they hurt you just as much as they hurt me. Well, no, they don't because your can your ships have ridiculous. I have no idea what that sound effect was. Something 
into his bomb sprinklers. What? Is that like the sound effect of a bomb sprinkler hitting wood or something? That's really weird. And kind of horrific. Now, somewhere up here there's a prismatic mirror, and I'm gonna kill it, because fuck prismatic mirrors. Hey, there it is. Kill that shit. Yeah. If this is, like, if this force is sufficient to destroy the Creon defense, I'm gonna be a little upset. Because it shouldn't be. Maybe Cave Dog planned on me being more paranoid than I am. <laughs> ah, eh, eh. Prismatic Mirror, I know you're out there. Where are you? Reveal yourself to me. Oh, there's another one. God, I hate Prismatic Mirrors. That's a lie. I love Prismatic Mirrors when I'm the one who owns them. When other people own them, fuck them. Take out that academy. Actually, I'm going to leave the academy for now once I'm building. I was building a shock trooper, that's no problem. I'm going to take out the all the sprinklers on that hill. Prismatic mirror, die. Die, 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 die. Centaurs. Centaurs are pretty good. I'll have to build some of those. Yeah, I gotta be honest, that went about how I expected it to go. Wait, did I... God damn, I lost almost all my grenadiers, really? Jeez, it's terrible. And now I need to rebuild my lighthouse. I don't actually know which of these grenades is the best grenade to use. Yes, like, I just, I straight up do not know. So I'm just, actually, you know what? Aye. One can be incendiary, and one can be stun. Yes, yes, majesty. Cool, the water is pointing in the right direction. Those assassins are doing nothing useful because they're not useful. If they had vaguely decent line of sight, they might be vaguely useful. Although, hmm, those frozen troops strongly suggest that there is a uh, mechanic about, and I would like to kill that because every unit that, especially every mechanic that is dead, is a mechanic that is not building things that will kill me. And Creon has a lot of things that will kill me. So let's see if we can find him. Excellent. Something down here, perhaps. Well, let's get some siege towers. Not usually. Ugh. Yeah. That's gonna be an issue. Very few 
mana refineries though, which is good news. Means Creon can't be building that many things, and I don't want to build that many things because I want to be replacing all my lodestones with divine lodestones, like a smart person. Let's see how this goes. I think I probably want explosive for this. This guy said to incendiary, that guy said to stun. Yes, Majesty. Uh, I guess with the lighthouse we don't really need stun. Grenadiers, by the way, are actually pretty great units. I will probably be building some more of those. Just don't know what to do with these, they're pretty much useless, but hey, whatever. so great. Oh, and this is... Huh. Transport's just arrowed and ironclad to death. I'll be damned. That really shouldn't have worked. And Mr. Priest of Lear, of course, has one of my favorite units, Zobalista. Why are you guys still cloaked? How have you not run out of mana? Alright, so it looks like our new units for this mission are the Centaur, the Siege Tower, and the Mo Warrior. Although technically we've seen Mo Warriors before, we just haven't used them. Oh, and Flying Builders, and Grenadiers! the Ark being built by the, the uh, Acolyte, then it might be built by the Mage Priest, the uh, Mage Builder. Hmm. Not sure. Probably should have waited till that Divine Lodestone was finished, but oh well. Right away. Right away. Right away. We'll keep one Builder and one Priestess back here, just in case. Let's see if our cloaked assassins can locate some more Creon things to kill. I mean, I'd never build assassins myself, but as long as I've got them, I might as well use them. said that the uh, Creon forces were well fortified. Bomb sprinklers surrounded by walls like that are terrors. I mean, Creon defensive structures in general are just horrific, but bomb sprinklers surrounded by walls like that are especially hor horrific. I do not like this place at all. I may just sacrifice these guys to kill that prismatic mirror. Or not. Appears not. I 
I've got to be honest, uh, assassins, I'm unimpressed with your performance. I will not fail. You probably will fail, actually, but I, I will accept it if you do. Because you're up against Creon, and Creon are the most bullshit. On the bright side, I think I may have killed their uh, constructors. Doesn't appear that they're replacing any of the things I'm killing, so I should just be able to wear them down with... Uh, Soviet tactics, I guess? We have reserves. I hope we have reserves. I'm going to be very upset if we don't have reserves. I will not fail. I will I not tree. fail. Really? That's out of range? God, arrows are so stupid and useless. Thankfully, apparently, so are ironclads. That could have gone poorly. why they're not called a Pegasus, because it's pretty obviously a Pegasus, but... He is Flying Builder. Alright, sure. As you can see, Flying Builders are relatively high up the tech tree for pretty obvious reasons, because they're pretty good. Five, five, eight, five, six, four. Interesting. The Aramon Divine Lodestone is over a thousand more expensive than the Lear Divine Lodestone. No, not over. Almost. Almost a thousand more expensive than the Lear Divine Lodestone. I wonder if Cave Dog had any actual, like, reason for the different costs of lodestones, or if it was just whatever the hell I felt like. Anyway, flying builders. Flying builders are pegasi, and as you can see, they can build all the same things that mage builders can. But they're flying, and that's actually pretty useful. Especially for Aramon, who have great difficulty with their boats, because all their boats are made by builders. And builders sometimes have difficulty getting near the water close enough to actually, like, make things. Anyway, let's make some centaurs. Centaurs build quick. And, as you can see, 713, they are cheap. Or even cheaper than musketeers, which is good because they do pretty much the same thing, except faster. And with less explosions. So here's a centaur. If you were expecting them to be able to gallop at horse speed, then I'm afraid you simply On aren't familiar way. with Total Annihilation Kingdoms. They do not do that at all. They do, however, shoot bows. And the arrows they shoot are relatively powerful, so, you know. They're alright. I am yours! They have decent, uh hit points and all that. Look at them waves, carefully hitting exactly the same point every single time because they are also a doodad. Interesting that all the waves are coming only to there. Maybe Cave Dog were trying for some kind of 
weather simulation. That's where the currents are coming from, maybe. Mm. Makes more sense. I'll soon be there. On my way, my way. And there goes me bird. But I didn't see any signs of a shipyard, so we should be good. Perhaps these spy hawks will be able to locate any last Creon builders, or confirm that there are no more Creon builders and that we can just safely grind down the remains. Get used to safely grinding down the remains, that is how most of the Iron Plague missions are going to go. Mm, automaton... Smithy... Damn, they still have a smithy. But, based on what I can see and how long it's taking to build that, I do not think their smithy actually has any resources to build things. That's good. I like it when Creon has no resources. Unless I'm Creon, in which I don't like it at all. Okay, yeah. We're just dealing with the one smithy and a bunch of defensive structures. Well, I can deal with that. Probably got kind of lucky, actually, in hindsight. Siege tower! Well, rolling tower. Ballista! Oh, it appears it just has the ballista. Still, it should be pretty tough. Although, slow as balls. I don't really need more rolling towers now that I think about it. What I do absolutely need, though, is barbarians. Give me some melee. I need meat shields. I guess I could build a trebuchet, but I don't really think it would be all that useful. Yeah, let's get some dirigibles up. They will probably just get shot down, but hey, you never know. And they do have very good sight radius. Actually, I think that's the other thing rolling towers are good at, is sight. Perhaps not. Test out the damage of the different grenadier shots on a barbarian. Sorry, barbarian, you're being Aye. sacrificed for science. I'm going. Aye. Okay, explosive shots, relatively low damage. Sentry's about the same. actually sure what to make from that. I expected Aye. incendiary to be lower damage but higher AoE. But maybe they're actually about the same. Hmm. 
Majesty. Aye. See if our troops are sufficient On to my way. start clearing some of this mess. Let's go up here and deal with the bomb sprinkler up here first. Although, actually, that On bomb sprinkler way. did not have anti air defenses, Along did it? Ready. Ready. Maybe I can just bomb it into oblivion with a dirigible. And giggle. I cannot. Oh, that dirigible is so dead. to make a mechanic who will try and rebuild Creon, and I do not want Creon to get rebuilt. At all. We've got a fire wagon shooting at us. There it is. Kill it. God damn. Oh, I hate bomb sprinklers. God, I hate bomb sprinklers. Gotta be honest, prismatic mirrors are terrifying for their accuracy and damage, but bomb sprinklers make prismatic mirrors like jokes. They take a while to spin up and they're kind of useless against air units, which means they are... They do have a weakness that can be exploited, but god damn are they absolute murder on ground units. On my Why? Way. Can on you my seriously way. not see the bomb sprinkler that you are literally walking into? God damn. Take out this prismatic mirror. Oh god, there's a bomb sprinkler down there. Of course there is. Uh... Well, this is a thoroughly worthless siege tower. Wait, can it even get up? the cliff. I don't think it can. I think that siege tower is stuck. Because it is completely useless. I'm going. Oh my god, more bomb sprinklers. I am very glad for dirigibles. Even though they are significantly nerfed from their original incarnation. said, we're almost done here. Thank God. Uh, Anti-air up there, we'll have to deal with that. Mm, there's going to be a Gatling crossbow here too, which 
which we will also need to deal with. Huh. Unfortunately, it appears Gatling crossbows don't do as much damage as I thought they did. So we should be able to destroy this with relative ease. Actually, I'm kind of surprised. I thought Dirigible's more fragile than that. Darn clads! Fuck! Ironclads cannot shoot air. Go, go balloons. Destroy the hideous monstrosities. Well, for a blind mission, this worked out rather well. that our dirigibles will finish off the Creole Menace. Screw you, robot men! time, ladies and gentlemen.